In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at some of the new functionality that's gone into ArcGIS Explorer 2500 as it relates to presentations and how you can better control uh, pop-up windows, image overlays, and make use of new overlay text. So here we're zooming in on a note as we transition to the next slide and it shows us a pop-up window. Very similar to what you could do in previous releases. The next thing that we're going to show is new, and that's that the pop-up window can stay open between slides or across slide transitions. In previous releases, the pop-up window would be open for a slide, but it would not stay open when you transition to the next slide. So if you wanted to have the same uh, pop-up window open on two adjacent slides, it would close and then reopen. So a much better experience to be able to transition across slides with the pop-up window open. And here we've just zoomed into a vantage point that uh, more accurately depicts where the photograph in the pop-up window was taken. The next thing to show is that you can have control over where the pop-up window appears on the screen. So here I've set the pop-up window to open in the upper left of the screen. And I'm opening up another pop-up window in the lower right. Um, controlling the pop-up windows so they don't clash but also important to note that new for Arches Explorer 2500, you can also have two pop-up windows open at the same time, or actual, actually much more than that. You can have as many pop-up windows open as uh, you can fit on the screen uh, with Arches Explorer 2500. And uh, this makes it easy to compare values inside of, uh, inside of your attribute windows, your pop-up windows. Another thing that's new in Arches Explorer 2500 is that image overlays can be referenced by URL. Um, this uh, helps in keeping down the file size of the map document. In previous releases, image overlays were put right into the stream of the document, so you kind of have to weigh the pros and cons. Um, referencing by an image overlay by URL means that you need to have an internet connection in order to play the presentation and for those that you share your uh, map with. Um, however, if you just add them into the map, the file sizes can get quite large. So it's just something to think about. Another thing that you can do with image overlays is you can position them uh, on the screen in a precise location. So here I've aligned, roughly aligned it with the mountains. and. Uh, this ability to move the image overlay on the screen is really handy as well for doing presentations. And then perhaps one of the most significant things for uh, 3D is the uh, transitions. And uh, transitions allow you to control how you navigate from one slide to another. So here I'll demonstrate uh, doing a balance transition where it zooms out and then back in to the next slide. So a lot like bouncing across the world. And it shows us this view of the mountain. The next transition to demonstrate is the snap transition. And what snap does is it basically doesn't use a transition. It just goes directly to the next slide position. So in this case, I'm just going to go back where we were. When I transition the slide, it just snaps back to the uh, location we were previously at and you can snap to any location on the globe. And then the, the third transition type that we have is the straight transition. So what this does is it just goes straight to the next location. So I'll advance the slide and it's just going to zoom in straight um, to that mountain that we were just looking at. So these give you these transition types give you a lot of control over how you navigate the globe. And along with how you navigate the globe, you can control uh, how much time it takes to get from one slide to the next. And that's specified in seconds. So here I'll just do a 15 second transition. And we can see as we move to this next slide that it just transitions along, taking 15 seconds to get to the next uh, position. And then we can contrast that with taking five seconds to do the same distance. In this case, I'll just go back to the position that we were previously at. 
and I click and it just moves us back there in five seconds uh, rather quickly. And so let's, let's take a look at how uh, you set that up in the user interface. So if we go back to the ArcGIS Explorer, you can see here that I've got my uh, presentation open. Um, the first thing that you'll notice is that the slides themselves have this extra information next to them. And uh, that kind of gives us a visual cue, or not kind of, it does give us a visual cue as to what's happening with each of these slides just by looking at it. Here we can see a circle next to a slide. That means it's a snap transition. And if we look at uh, slide 12 here, you can see I had an image overlay on, had some title text. Then when we go to 13, I didn't change the actual position of the slide, really, the map location. All I did was turn elements on and off. So I've just turned off the image overlays, turned on some different text overlays. And so that's when you want to use snap. Just turn these things on, turn the other stuff on, stay at the same location. When I move to an, a new location, that's when it's handy to use an actual transition. So here I've used the bounce transition and that means you know I'm going to go from this slide to this slide and it's going to bounce and it's going to take 10 seconds to do that transition. Now the, the time is good to have here because that can help you uh, align things as you're uh, building your presentation. Because another new thing for 2500 is the ability to add audio to your presentations and the audio starts and ends on slides so having your time set up lets you uh, accurately get the audio synced with your slides and if we look at the uh, toolbar up here you can see we've got transition type time and the slide duration for these slides If we want to take a look at our uh, pop-up window, um, we can go ahead and do that. And uh, you see here that you've got position options, pretty straightforward for how to set the pop-up position um, for a note. And actually, any any element in your map that supports pop-up windows, you can control the position. Um, if we go back to the image overlays here, um, you can see that they too have all the size moding size modes here and you can control where they are and then uh, the new thing for this release is the image overlay text um, here's some text right here this transitions text and uh, if we go ahead and uh, find that here on the map um, go ahead and look at its properties um, you can control the position of that text on the screen with these arrows um, you can go to some quick quick spots and uh, you can also control how all that text looks with your fonts and your colors and uh, even quick styles. So uh, just a, a quick look at some of the new things to, to help you build better presentations with ArcGIS Explorer. And uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to watch this.